Today I am making a video on my web browser and the browser that I use is Google Chrome Google Chrome that's my default browser and the video I'm going to show you here will be the reasons why I use it I still have Internet Explorer of course and I can still use that anytime I want to but mine is internet Google Chrome that's what I use and the reasons why I use it is because of security and most of all the speed and all the things that internet uh, Google Chrome has to offer one uh, we're gonna go on the uh, internet and my home page when I bring it up as you'll see right here in my options is Yahoo that's my home page and I like to save my passwords and I can always check them and under the hood you can always delete your browser history and if you tell it to do that I do for everything you can always go down to the last hour or last day or last week but I always go with everything but uh, basically uh, I like I use default as Yahoo you can go with Google or Bing or an add a different browser search but uh, I use Yahoo and I've been on Yahoo for years and Google is I go there to search a lot of times because you can find so much stuff but today what I want to show you one thing that this browser can do besides the speed which I rate the speed between it and Internet Explorer is like the difference between a DSL and cable to a, a dial-up modem that's the difference in my opinion and that's one reason why I use it is because you see these file folders here and that's just what they are on the internet with Google Chrome you can switch this one over here or you can switch this one over here and you can even bring them down to the desktop and minimize them you can do whatever you want to but we're gonna go here and this girl here she is a friend of mine and she is from Spain she is Spanish not Mexican but she is still Spanish and speaking in Spanish as you can see all the stuff that she's got here she's got 197 uploads and all of them or most of them are in Spanish and she and I we communicate she writes messages to me and she's learning English and I'm trying to learn Spanish but Google Chrome when I'm on her channel or on a French channel a German channel a Russian channel Yugoslavian channel Asian channel any channel is going to say uh, they of course know I'm from the United States because that's what I've got in my profile with Google Chrome so if I go to something else like Spanish they're going to say would you like to translate it if I knew it I'd say no but I don't know it so I'm going to say translate so it's translating it and you're going to see right here it's going to change this into what strange and complicated game best world cup stops all these have been changed even down here and I could go back and say show original but it changed it from Spanish to English and you know you can go with any of these I can have it in uh, any of these that I wanted in so that is one of the greatest things that I've ever seen uh, about a, a browser that can change this to where I can read what she's writing and understand and enjoy her YouTube station and not only on YouTube but any other place that you go to on the web if you have a profile and it knows you're English and USA it's gonna set you up with a translator so that being said we're getting off the internet and what we're going to do now is uh, 
stop this video and I'm going to add a video of Google Chrome and show you what the uh, uh, preview of Google Chrome is and in this video you'll see in my description where you can go to to get Google Chrome but it also probably be in that video so uh, I hope you like that and that you'll subscribe and and want more of these how to and where to and videos of different things that I'm making so thank you very much and enjoy these videos and until the next time this is Shannon Doa We built our browser, Google Chrome, not only to be faster, but also to give you control over the information you share while you're online. Most online activity takes place in a browser, so to understand your privacy on the web, it's important to know the basics of what happens in your browser. Let's see what happens when you use a browser and what information is sent and received. When you type a web address into the browser's address bar and hit enter, the browser sends a request to find the computer server that hosts your requested web page. Once the server is located, the browser requests the web page you are looking for and the server sends it back. The browser on your computer then interprets the web page code and displays the page. Using Chrome doesn't mean sharing more information with Google than using any other browser. Just as with other browsers, information is only sent to Google servers if you use a Google service such as Search or Gmail. Browsers typically maintain a history of the websites you've visited so that you can access these websites again easily in the future. Your browser's history is maintained locally on your computer. In Chrome, none of your history data is ever shared or sent outside of your browser or your computer without your permission. You can delete your browser's history at any time or browse in incognito mode if you don't want website visits and downloads to be recorded in the browser. We know that privacy is important and we're always innovating to make sure that Chrome reflects Google's strong privacy standards and practices. Here are some more ways that Chrome helps protect your privacy. Text entered into the combined search and address bar, which we call the Omnibox, is logged by Google servers for only a random 2% of Omnibox input, and only if Google is your default search provider. This data is used to improve Google's suggestion service and is made anonymous within 24 hours. Chrome lets you manage cookies on a site-by-site -site basis. This means that you can choose to turn them on only for the sites that you trust and use the most. Chrome helps protect you and your personal information from malicious websites through our safe browsing technology. And to make sure that Chrome is always up to date with the latest security updates, Chrome automatically checks for updates on a regular basis. To learn more about these topics, click on the links to watch videos from Google engineers or visit google.com slash chrome slash privacy.